bring you cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. We are back. The big game and a big game coverage tonight had the number two ranked Navarro Panthers kicking off their delayed season against number five ranked Lavernia Bears, and it was the Panthers pouncing on Bears miscues early. The very first play from scrimmage, the Bears fumble the ball. The Panthers recover. That leads to the first touchdown when Brody Whitson scores on this 12-yard run, and just like that, 7-0 Navarro. In fact, Lavernia would fumble three out of their next four possessions away, and Navarro cashes in. Quarterback Nick Billing scores from three yards out. The point after attempt is no good. Now 13-0 Navarro. Now in the second quarter, James Brinsley is able to take it in from five yards out. And again, the point after attempt is no good. And it's 19 to 7. Lavernia, though, staying in it. Braden Presley with a six yard run. We got ourselves a game 19 to 14. Navarro at the half. In the second half, a bear attack. Quarterback Gage Lowry to Daryl Dulac for the three yard touchdown. Lavernia takes her first lead of the game 21 to 19. The final from Lavernia, Bears win 28 to 19. In the first quarter, we had a couple setbacks. We fought, we gave it up in three turnovers and four plays, and defense just never gave up, kept, getting, kept giving after it, and gave uh, the offense an opportunity to go and score. Here come the Battling Beavers of Fall City, ready to host the Pope Pirates at a huge rivalry game, but the Pirates get off to a fast start early first quarter. Off play action fact, quarterback Jude George lobs it up to Hayden Davis, who hauls it in for the 31-yard touchdown, 7-0 lead. Then special teams makes a play. A few minutes later, post Cooper Kahn feels a punt, moves upfield, bounces to the outside, cuts back inside, outraces everybody for the 75-yard score, and the lead is now 14-0. Let's see if that's gone final. It has Pope with a big shutout, 58-0. Big matchup at Indian Stadium. Jordan takes on Cal Allen. The Indians down 7 0. Second quarter, third and 11. Cole Andrus to Gerald Lilly in the flat. He finds a crease and he races down the 20 to the 27 yard line for a huge pickup. A few plays later, Andrus finds Lilly again, this time for a great over the shoulder catch of the one yard line. They punch it in on the very next play to tie the game to 14 all. The final for Jordan, it is still in the fourth. Cal Allen has taken a big lead, 56 35. The six ranked Bernie Greyhounds in the sub 5 8 12 top 12 taking on LaGrange tonight at Rattler Stadium in San Marcos. What a game for Rashawn Galloway, the talented Bernie Corbett. Quarterback. He pulls it down. He's off here, leaping over for the huge extra yardage. That's a pickup of 16 yards and then sets up his first TD from six yards out. Mm -hmm. Bernie goes up 7-0. Let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard right now for that final. There's Bernie over Splendora, 37-9. Lavernia down in Navarro tonight, 28-19. Big comeback win for the Bears. Elsewhere, it was Cal Allen over Jordan. And that is in the fourth, 56-35. Shutout for Poth over Fall City, 58-0. Over Cornerstone High School, there's a familiar face. Neon Dion and his son, Shadur Sanders. Dion is the offensive coordinator for Trinity Christian. His son, the starting quarterback, and Shadur shows us why. Swing pass to Cameron Silman on the inside screen, and he's in for the 31-yard touchdown to make it 19 and nothing, but the Warriors have an answer for that. How about Arkansas commit Lucas Coley going on top? Look at this. Jalen Gardner skies for this big-time catch, and the 33-yard touchdown 19 to 7. The final from Cornerstone. It is 40 to 28. Trinity Christian. The battle Billy Stadium, Fredericksburg, hosting Gerald tonight, and the home team strikes first. Three minutes in, Cole Immel finds Judson Beard, who's wide open. He waltzes in for the 31-yard touchdown, the quick 7-0 lead. Same quarter, Billies are now up 14-0. Gavin French takes a handoff, powers his way through the heart of the defense for the 19-yard score. Fredericksburg leads 21-1. 21 to nothing after one. And there's your final 54 to 14 Fredericksburg. Mason taking the field. Comfort Stadium ready to take on the Bobcats. Four quarter. Comfort up 20 to six. Looking for more quarterback Oscar Falcone. Rolls to the right. Finds Chris Rodriguez in the end zone for the 10 yard score. Comfort takes a 27 to six lead. And that is now a final. Comfort with the win 30 to six. Up at Canyon Lake. We're on the sidelines of the Hawks who are leading the Greens with a win. We arrive 15 to eight. Check out the counter on the handoff to Jesse Horner. And he goes in untouched. 50 yard touchdown. Canyon Lake goes up at the time 22 to 8. Let's head back to the big game cover scoreboard for that final. Canyon Lake with a big win 61 to 23. Trinity Christian over Cornerstone tonight 40 to 28 handing the Warriors their first loss. Fredericksburg over Gerald 54 to 14. Comfort over Mason 30 to 6. The Panther band walks up to Bobby Russell Stadium Stockdale hosting Platonia mid third quarter. Bulldogs up 6 nothing. Keyshawn Green drops back launches for a Ricardo Oliveras. He's got a 25 yard touchdown. Platonia goes up 13 to nothing final from Stockdale. The Brown 
Llamas fall 25 to 6. Look at the trophy on the line tonight at Mustang Stadium. It's a legacy bowl between Lytle and Italia. Game tied at 14 4 quarter. Mustangs on the move. Quarterback Wyatt Woodson fakes a run up the middle, then takes off for the far side and gets to the edge of the 14 yard touchdown. Natalia goes up 20 to 14. They had another touchdown late in the quarter. And let's see if that's gone final. 26 to 14. Natalia with the win. The Poteet Aggies have a message for the Pleasanton Eagles tonight before their big showdown in Poteet. No score in the second quarter when the Eagles fumble the ball and it's recovered nicely by Cutter Blag. Watch this play. They're going to the left, and there you see the fumble right there. Blag is on it. That leads to this 33 yard field goal by Poteet and a 3 0 lead at the time. That holds it up at halftime. And let's take a look at the big game coverage scoreboard to see if that has gone final. It is Poteet over Pleasanton 9 3. And that is in the fourth. That is not a final yet. 26 14. Natalia over Lido and Stockdale falling to Flatonia 25 6. And Three Rivers and Nixon Smiley. Still going at it 27 21 in the fourth. Now let's head to Blanco where Shiner came to visit Panther Stadium. Shiner's up 30 47 in the third. I'm about to add to that. Doug Brooks is a big man. He's listed at 260. Look at him power his way, running over one, two, three, four. Panthers on his way to the end zone for the 27 yard touchdown. Let's head back to the big game coverage. He's a big guy. Blanco falling though to Shiner right now 69 to 20. That is a final. Wimberley gets her second win of the season over Quero 33 to 14. Marion, look at the edge outs goalie at 24 23 and divine outscores you valley tonight 49 48 we have much more to come including our big gig coverage road trip fan cam more highlights and scores but first let's listen to the divine war horses marching band <laughs> Thank you. 